okay, we think we're growing quality produce in New Zealand. We've got our clean green image. We're coasting on that. The vast majority of what we produce is low bricks, flavorless, chemically contaminated crap that looks good. In my own life, I, I fell in love with New Zealand bread when I came over here. And beautiful bread, but again, made from local and imported ingredients. And almost all the bread here, like in America, contains canola, which is genetically modified, contains soy, which is genetically modified, and contains traces of high fructose corn syrup. So I wiped out my B12. If we don't have microbes in the soil, we won't get the nutrient density simply because the building blocks weren't there in the soil and we didn't have the builders, the carpenters, to put it together. What does industrial food do to our bodies? Um, I think it just creates an incredible challenge that we've not ever had to face in the history of humans on the planet. Our genes don't change very quickly. One of the things we've seen happen in the last decade particularly is more and more people are getting aware. People are getting aware the food is poisoning them. They're becoming aware that so many diseases that children are victims of is related to poison in the food, GMOs in food, glyphosate in food. As a result of which, there is now, as was said, an objective condition for the emergence of alternatives. So we need to pull up our socks and to actually get more farmer awareness. And I have, unfortunately, very little hope from it coming from the top down. There has to be a learning process for farmers. Farmers, some farmers are going to reject this, uh, are going to protest about it straight away because they've come used to using pesticides, it's easy. A lot of other farmers already understand this and they already see it, but they need to be assisted with upskilling and how to work in harmony with the environment.